if the word is cheap, I would say that it is cheap. Like to me, that is a pretty cheap mechanic. Like there is no clear indicator it, and it instantly hits you. To me, that is a pretty kind, pretty cheap kind of mechanic. Yeah, he is underleveled, which is a problem. I agree with that. To me, the, whether a mechanic is cheap or not has nothing to do with the level, though. That's that's what I'm trying to say. I, I, like, I think we have different definitions because. Uh, let the battle begin. Like to me, whether a mechanic is well designed or not does not involve what level you are. Like a mechanic with good design to me is a good design whether you're level one or a hundred. You know? So the level doesn't make a difference if we're talking about whether a mechanic is cheap or not. At least in my definition. Am I soloing or not? No, no Zach's going solo. All right, I'm just gonna spear again. Yeah, I think my definition of cheap is your definition of bad. I mean, we basically agree, we're just using two different words. I mean, it's, it's a bit easy. You're using it a wrong? Look, this is where Twitch chat never changes their minds, right? I mean, you think I'm using it wrong, I'm, I think I'm using it right. We're not gonna change our minds. Maybe a better word would be fair versus unfair. To me, a cheap mechanic is an unfair mechanic, okay? Like, maybe we can agree on that then. Because I don't think that mechanic we just saw is fair. If you cannot realistically dodge it without knowing exactly what it does beforehand, I don't consider it a fair mechanic. Your death. But yeah, I guess if it doesn't one-shot you, then it's not that big of a problem. But I still don't think it's fair. Why does every mechanic need to be dodgeable? Oh, well, it doesn't. I just think a mechanic where you have no chance of dodging is not a fair one. That's what I'm saying. You don't you don't need every mechanic to be a fair mechanic, but I think it's better if every mechanic was a fair mechanic. Like, it, for example, let's say you're fighting an uber boss, right? Like, would you have more fun if if a me if a mechanic that you can clearly see c comes and hits you, and you you just like you can't move quite fast enough to dodge it, and then it kills you? You know, would you would you be happier with that, or would you be happier with a mechanic that just like boom, you're dead, and you're like, wait, why am I dead? Oh. Oh, I, I apparently I needed to stand like in this corner only, and I didn't know that. Well, I'm always gonna die here. There's no chance I would ever live. And to me, it's better if you can understand what the mechanic is before you die to it. To me, that's just more fair. I don't think it's in rocket science. Right? I'm gonna press forward again, by the way. What's this? A different Patrick? Expect thanks for fulfilling your duty. 
But it only uh, one-shots you if you're under level. The key mechanic of the game is levels. Yeah, yeah, I that, that's the part I agree with. Yeah, I do think he downplays the level part of it a little too much. I agree with that. I guess my point would still be like, um, like I, I agree with you. I don't think it's that big of a deal because he was so under leveled, and levels obviously is a big part of the problem. But, but I guess the point I'm trying to make is, uh, the game would just be a better game if there was no mechanic that was like that. Like, regardless of level or not, I think the game would just be a better game if the mechanics were all ones where you could at least reasonably not die or not get hit by it if you do the right move. I like skill-based mechanics. To me, this is not a skill-based mechanic. This is just like a do you know what happens or not. I like stuff where it's like you can actually dodge it and it just intuitively makes sense. So my point is, it would just probably be a better game if all the mechanics fulfilled that. Yeah, we basically agree. One more level until I can dunk. Might have made some mistakes. Oh, didn't get this one. Oh well, we're making space. Yeah, we agree with the mechanic being bad. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's just the word cheap. Like what we're arguing here is just semantics about the word cheap. That's why I was trying to say what the word cheap means to me. You know, I don't I don't know exactly what cheap means to you, but to me cheap means unfair and if there's something you cannot reasonably dodge on your first time seeing it, to me that's that's kind of unfair. someone with this now. 578 damage. Fifty months poggers. A game based on levels and farming can't be entirely skill based. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be entirely skill based. I don't. I don't know why you think it has to be entirely skill based. Oh, hold on. Let me get this real quick. No, I'm not getting him. Am I? The shrines will soon be active again. Maybe he'll check. Oh, that guy's killable. But there's no way we can get him. Yep. Get this guy, boys. Oh no, it's okay, we can still get him, right? Maybe. Nope. Alright, time to bail. Time to bail. Trying to get this last hit. I didn't get it. He's too high HP. No, he's one tap. Unlucky. Oh well. 
All right. Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, it's it, like it's not one or the other. It, I'm not saying the game has to be entirely skill based and not gear dependent at all. I think you're like misunderstanding something here. For example, if they just give that skill we just saw an indicator, if your screen, if under you, it just appears like you know blue for Frost Nova for like a quarter of a second. Uh, there was no indicator. There's no indicator there at all. If there was just a quarter second of an indicator, which he pro like most people would probably die to that anyways, because a quarter second is not enough time to react, you know. That, was rather... that would just be way better. And that's not a skill only game because the monster still has a bunch of HP and the monster does a bunch of damage. Like that's not skill only. That is still gonna be a gear check. You're not gonna kill a level 60 monster with level 1 gear, right? It's not possible. Like, you're still gonna need your gear to be better, to do enough damage to actually kill it. But, if there was an indicator, it would be way more fair. And like 99% of uh, the things in Diablo has indicators. That might be one of the only ones I've seen that had no indicator. Like 99% of the skills in Diablo are reasonably fair in my opinion. You know it's coming? Well you might know it's coming but you don't know where it hits and I think you would only know it's coming you, you, you would only know like something is coming the fact like it doesn't have an indicator for hit rate it's really weird why that doesn't have that oh I think that's enough is that one that's one baby Pago the alley you choke slam minus five into everything AMA. That's okay. Warm it. No ability one shots you when adequately geared and leveled that there is counterplay available. It's a fine mechanic that makes it challenging before and after it happens since it doesn't one shot you. I, I agree with you in that it's a fine mechanic. I mean it's a fine mechanic. My point is it could be a better mechanic. It's fine. It's not like it's the end of the world or anything. But it could be better. Well, I, I don't know. I think it's a bad mechanic, actually. I wouldn't really agree with you with that it's fine. I think it's a bad mechanic, actually. That's, that's what Ryu, Ryu2 was saying, too. Like, he thinks it's bad, but, like, you can deal with it, so it's, you know, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I, I agree it shouldn't be as big of a deal as Asmund's trying to make it to be, but... A mechanic with that little warning? I had to replay that clip three times to see what happened to him. I, I, and then I, because I was looking for the indicator. I have like 600 hours in Diablo 4, 500 hours. If I, if I have to go back into that clip, replay it three times, and then go slow mo, and then replay it again to figure out exactly how, how he got owned, like, it's, that's, I don't think that's a good mechanic. That's, I think you guys are uh, a little too forgiving of these mechanics sometimes. But to each their own. Chromie's probably way better to kill here. At least he's better. What? 
Oh my god, it got cancelled by a freaking breeze again! Cancelled by a breeze. Yeah, there's another one! Minus 10. It's like the elite has the point and click and then it sends the shockwave behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured out what it did. But I don't think it's a good mechanic because it's like just... Well, I mean, we already discussed all of this. Like, coming from a MOBA player, I feel like you guys should understand this pretty easily, right? Like, look at KT's Q, very telegraphed. Bright wing Q, telegraphed. Muradin stun, telegraphed. My spear's telegraphed. This is telegraphed. This is telegraphed, right? Like, as a MOBA player, you should see all of this stuff is very well designed because it is all telegraphed and it's designed for intentional counterplay because in order to counterplay something, you have to be able to see what it's doing. This one might be good enough. Chunk him out a little. Oh, he has ice block! It's, it's a That's PvP, not PvE. PvE has to have artificial limitations or it gets too easy. I don't think so. I mean, Uber Lilith? All of Uber Lilith's uh, attacks, I think, are very well designed, like fair, good design. And that thing is the hardest thing in the game. I don't think it has to be, like, I don't think you need to resort to, like, mechanics where you can't see what's happening for the game to be hard. Please! No way, that was too short! Woo! It's okay, I can get another, another one. Look at games like Soul Series, the um, people are finishing it at level 1 naked now. Yeah, but Diablo would never be like that. I, I think Souls would be a good example of like an all skills based game. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, I, I feel like if you're good enough to beat a Souls game level one, no gear, like you deserve to beat us. I don't, I don't really see anything wrong with that. I think that's just a good thing. But like, that'll never happen in Diablo because your gear check is literally limited. Like, Uber Lilith? I think all of her designs are well designed, good uh, skills, and there's a significant gear check to Uber Lilith. You cannot beat Uber Lilith at level 1 with starter gear, no matter how good you are. I'll bet you anything, you will never beat Uber Lilith at level 1 in starter gear. You know? It don't matter how well you dodge her shit, you, you will never do it. So like, in Diablo, you, there's still a big gear check. Even with the, uh, even with skills that are telegraphed. Okay, the wave hitbox thing is bad for Uber Lilith, but but that's not like a design thing. That's like a hitbox thing. You know, like the design of the wave is very good. They literally just didn't have a matching hitbox. That that's like a I consider that like a bug Victory. or something. Like yeah, the hitbox thing is stupid, but that's not because of why they design like the design of the ability. That's just because the, the hitbox literally doesn't match. To me, that's just like a bug they haven't gotten around to fixing or something.
Uber Lilith will have 3x HP versus Tringy. I don't know if that's how it works for Lilith. I don't think it's like that bad. Anyways, I, Lilith is definitely easier in a party, so you guys, you know, like, it's it's like way easier in a party. I think you guys got a good shot. Uh, all right, someone wanted to see the skill skill shot. Someone wanted to see the uh, what we were talking about that whole game. I'll show you guys before I peace out here. Here, this is uh, what we were talking about here. Uh, this skill shot right here. See, this one looks at least a little bit more fair. This one is like a little bit more fair. So I guess it's a little bit more fair if uh, if you're just like solo hitting it. Because you can see a microsecond of expansion from this. But yeah, the one where he quit, like, I, I can't blame him for thinking this is bullshit. Like, because this one, like, your minions are proccing it. You can't even see it. <laughs> this is like, I mean, I mean, come on. You guys really think this is good design? Like, you can't even see anything. I mean, this is obviously not good design to me. I agree Asmin complains way too much, and most of the stuff he complains about is actually very skill skill checkable, but... This is like, I mean, this is not something I would want to have in my game. This is a little too extreme. Well done. Pleasure playing with you, fan. Thank you. Yeah, pleasure playing with you as well. It was pretty fun. Appreciate it, Agent Craig. All right, chat. But uh, to make it clear, you hate that mechanic too? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think most people, I like I think we have basically the same idea. I don't see anyone like liking that mechanic or thinking it's a good mechanic, but I think the we're just like arguing semantics and like the wording and how to describe it and stuff. I I think everyone has similar ideas here. Anyways, chat, you know what time it is. I got to rest my fingy, rest my arms. Can't overdo it these days. Uh, so we're heading out. I'll be back on Thursday for more Clown Fiesta action. Is there a way to get better 1v1 energy regeneration other than Intersight? 